So I said I call this one the, the reanalysis tab net CDF file. My PhD is about how you can improve uh, prediction of the wind climate, especially in uh, complicated areas like forested or uh, mountainous terrain or near coastlines. As the wind is blowing uh, over the open sea, it's quite even and quite strong. But as it's blowing on land, it feels the change in roughness, so it becomes more turbulent because of the change in roughness at the surface. Part of my PhD is working with these weather models that are basically uh, computer code. So I spend a lot of time programming and looking at computer code. Originally, my passion, you could say, in meteorology was uh, severe uh, convection or thunderstorms. But now I have uh, grown into wind and have gotten a great appreciation for, uh, I mean, the subtleties of wind. If we predict the wind tomorrow, we should uh, be able to go out with our measurement devices and see that oh, what we predicted is, is actually what uh, really happens. When the wind interacts with an object like a tree, that creates swirls or big whirls in the wind that makes the wind more turbulent. That makes it difficult to predict how the wind is going to move around because you have many different trees interacting with the wind. If I am successful in my PhD uh, and uh, we are better at estimating the wind climate in different uh, zones or sites, that will reduce the uncertainty for the industry. That way it's easier for the industry to be funded because you can show that you reduce the uncertainty of the project. When the wind interacts with a ridge like this, in order for it not to pile up, it has to speed up. So that's why you always see wind turbines at the top of the mountains. I'm only in my first year in my PhD, so I haven't thought about the future much. But uh, I think I might stay in the wind energy business, either in industry or stay at the university. Or I might go to the IT industry.